Hello and welcome back to my like Jeff. Now, I know it's been a while, but truthfully speaking, I have not been in the correct headspace to make these videos. So, you know, scream into a camera for about five to ten minutes at a time. You know, it gets draining to a person sometimes. But I'd like to say I'm back now. And because I've been gone for, for a while, and I haven't done this segment for even longer than I've been gone, I thought maybe it's time to do part seven of what the hell is going on. Now, if you've watched my content before, you know exactly what's about to happen. You know exactly what you're about to see. The title explains what's happening in these videos, okay? If you've never watched one of my videos, uh, sit back, make some popcorn, eat your popcorn, grab a drink, be comfortable, because you're about to see some stuff. So, uh, let's get into it, shall we? Do ants have dicks? Now, I'm not a doctor by any stretch of the imagination. I'm actually not even that smart but i'm gonna go with no on the on the fact that they have dicks i believe they have some sort of sexual organ but do i believe that they have a dick a penis no but of course you don't have to take my word for it because as i have expressed previously many times i'm not a doctor my name is just jeff just some stupid kid from durban who grew up in atlone park went to a school in atlone park when the kings were high school after that, not that intelligent, was never taught in my class, so you don't have to listen to me. But as dumb as I am, I'm smart enough to not put this on Twitter. I know that if there's something that I don't know, like this, I just Google it. I'm sure she would have she would have got the answer from Google if she just Googled it. Do ants have dicks? Something's gonna pop up and, sh and hopefully that something is gonna help you in your confusion. Your cousins are either your BFFs or you don't fuck with each other at all. Um... I'm gonna go with no. What the fuck is Ebola? I thought it meant grandma in Spanish. Why? What? Why would you think Ebola meant grandma in Spanish? How does that even make any sense? Like where are you getting this from? To me, Ebola doesn't even sound like a Spanish word. It sounds... Like what it is. Disease or a virus? What are we talking about here? Just to answer your question as well, Ebola is, is, is a disease or a virus similar to COVID. That was like it was like 2014, 2014, 2013. I was still in high school though. I know that. Where it was like, it was like the coronavirus of 2014. So that's what it is. Where were you during this time? Like, surely if you're old enough to have Twitter, you're old enough to remember, like when Ebola was a thing. So please get it together. I hope every feminist has their head severed from their shoulders. I have a question. Bro, uh, I assume this is a dude, okay? This would not make sense for this to be a female. So I assume this is a dude. Why? What did a feminist ever do to you? Let's just say a feminist's worst crime against you was to say females are better than men. Is that really reason enough to like say, I hope she gets her head severed? Not only her, all of them. What about the feminists that are, because we all know there's different sorts of feminists. There's the radical ones that say outlandish things from time to time, but I agree with their, with their premise for the most part. And then there's the feminists that just have the line of thinking, men and women should be equal. And I think that's, that's okay, that's fine. There's no issue with that. There's no issue with, with, with both of them, just that you need to watch what you say sometimes. Let's just say, what about the regular ones? What about the ones that aren't radical? The ones that don't say outlandish things? What about them? They should also have their heads severed. Why should anyone have their heads severed from their shoulders? Ever. Why would you ever? This isn't Game of Thrones. Why would you ever want this to happen to someone? If you're against the concept of heterosexual pride day, you're a complete cunt and deserve to be shot. Yo, someone needs to tell these white males to calm down with the shooting and severing of heads, okay? Just because I don't agree with you, doesn't mean I deserve to die. Um, okay? We disagree in society. Also, what the, what is heterosexual pride day? This is not the first time I've heard of this. The pride day, from what I understand, is for homosexual people, or people who belong to the LGBTQ community. If... Why would you need... Isn't every day pride day for like heterosexual people? Like, what are we, what are we talking about here? It's like when people, it's like when white people want there to be a white history month. That's every month. What are we, what are we doing? Do you not, do you not know what, what, what life is? Heterosexual people have had 
Pride Day every day since the beginning of time. What? You want another one? You want one on their day? Why does this matter to you so much? I don't even know when Pride Day for homosexuals is. Because I'm not a homosexual. So I tend to not worry myself about things that have nothing to do with me. Well, that brings you end of this week's video. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff, all that good stuff. If you really like this type of content, you can go back to part one, two, three, four, five, and six of this, this, these type of videos. But yeah, that that's it for this week. My name's Jeff, and I'm out.